So, what are your Halloween costume ideas for this year? I think I'm going to be going as one of the most political and intelligent in my class. And I'm only 11. <laughs> Hello there, I hope you're doing fine. If you're not, hang in there, you got this. I'm ironically screaming and ironically screaming. I I'm never gonna get that right. So today we're going to make a pumpkin head. This is surprisingly heavy. We're gonna take this pumpkin, we're going to carve out its insides, we're gonna carve it a nice face, put in a candle, but this isn't going to be a traditional pumpkin. For this, we'll have a face here and here. That is like the tiniest of actual changes. Before this video begins, I do want to note, I did not come up with the idea of putting two faces on it. I actually got the idea from one of my friends at school. Uh, her channel will be linked in the description below. Go check her out. She does pretty cool drawings, um, kind of animation-y stuff. So yeah, check out her channel. <laughs> but anyway, let's get on with the video. So first of all, y you need your pumpkin head. And you also need the the knife. I just, I just almost, I just dropped my pumpkin and consequently almost chopped off my arm, my hand, my, whatever the fuck this thing is. Spooky scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. Shrieking skulls will shock your soul and seal your doom tonight. So to start off, you just kind of take a pumpkin, like this, sideways, and just uh, you just kind of jam your knife into its scalp, and you're just gonna you're just gonna kind of cut the scalp off. Oh, these are some really tough pumpkins. <sighs> okay, unfortunately, that's not what we want. You see, there's no hole there, and there's supposed to be a hole there. We're just gonna put that in that scalp in the bowl for now. So, uh... Spooky, scary skeletons and sh All right. Oh, look at that. I think it's stuck. It's not, it's not stuck. Hold on, let me just... All right. Ah, there we go. <laughs> oh, fuck. Look at my hand now. Oh, that's disgusting. This is optional, but you might want to wear gloves as to avoid uh, orange hands. Hold on, I'm gonna go wash this. Right, I'm back. As you can see now, that's the insides of a pumpkin. But we don't want that in there, because we, we need that space for the candle. So, what we're going to do is... We're gonna get our lovely bowl here with the scalp in it and we're gonna just scoop. Okay, hold on, I'm just gonna cut this a little bit more. Also, you actually need to save the scalp for later, so just like put it over to the side. I'm just absolutely awful at this, aren't I? Just like trying to explain how to make things while making them. It's the two things that I'm not very good at, making things and explaining things. Why, why did I ever think to combine the two? Feel free to use your hands for this, by the way, if you don't have a scooping device. Oh fuck, it's getting into the openings in my cuticles. Yeah, just clean it right out. Every last seed. Every last little a strand of pumpkin intestines, just everything into the bowl. And now that you've scooped out all the pumpkin innards, you, ha you should have a bowl a, a little bit like... Fuck! It fell. Well that was a stupid idea. Next up you're going to use the marker to draw the faces on your uh, pumpkin. So let's just do that. Okay then, so that ended up looking like that. That looks, that looks pretty good, don't you think? Yeah, angry, happy. That's a, that's a pretty good contrast. Okay, so now we are going to cut out 
uh, carefully cut out these, and I actually might get a smaller knife for this. Hold on. I'm back again with a smaller knife this time. Alright, so let's let's do this. Holy crap, look at that actual mess right there. I mean, wow. <laughs> Nevertheless, we do now have a double-faced pumpkin. It was very messy, there was a lot to clean up because I did it on my freaking bed. Rule number one of cutting pumpkins. You should probably not do it on your bed. Okay, hold on, there's a little, there's a little bit there. That's, uh... Also, I didn't even realize that my camera was zoomed in the entire time that I was filming that. I could have just zoomed out, but I didn't realize that. And instead, I have like 20 minutes worth of iPhone footage instead that I'm gonna use. It's not the best looking pumpkin. I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it on my head and dance around in a full body suit. But you know, it's something. It's made with passion, and it's the original handiwork of yours truly. Uh, so yeah, it's, pre it's pretty much worthless. So next up is lighting up the match, but that is very stupid to do in a room like this. I mean, there's a lot of flammable things in here. So we are gonna go to the balcony. Right, so the audio is probably a bit shit because it's very echoey in here, but it's a pretty good place to light matches because there's not many flammable things here. Except for the plant, plant, the wood, the plant, the wood. But anyway, basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna, you're gonna just put your candle right in there. So yeah, just make sure to go carefully through the mouthpiece like this and just, that's too far away for me. So yeah, <clears throat> just carefully through the mouthpiece and Oh my actual god, I can't reach it. So yeah, take three. Just, uh... Carefully through the mouthpiece and... Fucking... Yeah, there we go. And there you have... A lit candle inside a pumpkin with two heads and then... You just put the lid on. And there he is, right there. That's not even what all this is about. I mean, that's that's a really anticlimactic ending. So let me just show you what it looks like in a dark room. You're not seeing it very well because my camera is not the best in dark spaces, but that looks really cool. Yeah. So yeah, I'm just gonna leave it out here, and that's the end of the video. If you liked it, do give the like button and cheeky little tickle. If you wanna see more, give that subscribe button and cheeky little tickle, and I will see all of you in the next video. Bye.